Hello, I am Scorp, and here I am on my Steam Deck, and this is my Windows partition. And today I'm going to show you how to use an NTFS formatted SD card in both Windows and in Steam OS. So you can have a shared drive of games and play the same games between both. So here I am in Windows, and let's get the right mouse. And if I just look down at my SD card and show the properties, you can indeed see that it is formatted to NTFS. And if I look in my Steam library, we're going to look at four games, probably um, Bat for Blood, Bioshock Infinite, which uh, needs an update apparently, and Crash Bandicoot, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So I'm not going to bother playing those just yet in Windows. I am now going to restart and go into my Steam OS. I've now restarted into my Steam OS, and as you can see, that the four games that we want to play are not here. So Back for Blood it is in my favourites, but it's not installed. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is not there, and Bioshock Infinite and Crash Bandicoot is not there, and my SD card is showing that it can be mounted. And I'm just going to mount it in the same way as I mounted a standard external SSD. So that's going to involve coming to your console. Uh, in here, if you type in console, you can then launch console. It will come up to a screen like this. And I'm going to edit my FSTAB table. So, well, actually, no, first, first we need to do LSBLK and list our drives. And this is the drive we want. This is MMC BLK. MMC means uh, multimedia card, so SD card. Uh, and we want the UUID. So we are going to type that in again, LSBLK dash O, which means output. And we want the output to be the name. And we also want the UUID, uh, UUID. And here it tells us that the UUID of the MMMC card is this, and you're going to want to copy this, and I'm just going to double click it and click the copy in the corner. And then I need to do sudo nano slash etc slash fstab. And then type in your password. And uh, ignore a lot of this. This is uh, a lot of my testing. And previously when I'd mounted an external NTFS R drive, I used these settings. So it's UUID equals the UUID of the drive, where we're going to mount it. And in this case, I mounted it to a, a folder called NTFS games in uh, under run slash media slash deck. And we are mounting with low NTFS dash 3G. So the low part basically converts the file names to lower case and we are mounting it with the UID 1000 which is the ID of the deck user the GUID of 1000 which is also the ID of the deck group uh, RW which means read and write user so it's mounting as the user exec uh, umask equals 000 but I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see it all on one line so let me just uh, make it a little smaller so we can see it all and the important part, no fail. <clears throat> and then zero, zero. The zero, zero on the end basically means uh, don't do file system checks and don't do backups. That is basically exactly the same thing we are going to want, but we are going to want to put in the UUID of our SD card. So I'll just go quickly to a different tab and we'll type in that command again. Uh, LSBLK dash O name comma UUID and this is the U, U, this is the UUID we want for the MMC card, the SD card, and we are just going to write that in. So I'll just make this smaller so it's all on one page. We'll just make sure we've got everything correct. So the UUID is the UUID of the drive, which we know. We're mounting it, we want to mount it there. Oh and look, we've put a period in there. We need to put a comma. So do check, do check that this is all okay. I did just try and uh, boot this with the dot in it. It actually worked. So uh, I don't know what problems people are having. But always make sure that this no fail is on the end here. Always make sure the no fail is on. So save and exit. So now I'm going to restart my deck, which I'm just going to type in shut down and now. So I've restarted and I'm now back into desktop mode on my Steam Deck and we will just go to this icon down here and we will see that my NTFS hard drive 
uh, sorry, my NTFS SD card is now mounted successfully. And if we come to Steam down here and click on settings, where's the settings? Uh, oh, there it is. And once settings has opened, click on downloads and then click on Steam library folders. Click the plus symbol here and then look down here and there you can see run media deck NTFS SD. So that is my Windows formatted SD card with all my Steam games already on. I'm going to click that and then click add. And there it lists all the games that are on my NTFS, hard, my NTFS SD card. I'm going to close that and close this. And we are just going to look at Steam, this, my Steam library. And here are my games all nicely listed. And if we try, for instance, Crash Bandicoot, which is on my NTFS SD card. I'm going to keep saying NTFS just to make sure everyone knows <laughs> that this is an NTFS hard drive. Hard drive, SD card, and there we go, look. Crash Bandicoot has launched from an NTFS formatted SD card. No issues. Um, some people will probably tell you that NTFS is slower than X4 or any other Linux formatting. Um, I can tell you now that I have not noticed any difference. There might be some difference, you know, there might be a few seconds. I don't know, but for me, it's convenient. It is convenient. I don't want to have to keep installing third-party drivers on my Windows. Uh, this SD card could potentially be used in other systems. You know, you might go to a friend's house and you've got a lot of games on your SD card and you want to play it on their computer. And if it was formatted in Linux, you'd have to go and find some drivers and install drivers on someone else's computer. It's not cool installing stuff on other people's computers. So, you know, the NTFS drivers on Linux are very mature and work ridiculously well. Um, you can't say the same about Windows. Windows is oops, ah, oh, died. Windows is terrible with <laughs> with other file systems. Or traditionally, it was. I've not actually tried recently. So uh, that's Crash Bandicoot, which works. Like I say, it works fine. So I've now restarted my deck into gaming mode, just to show you that it does still work in gaming mode. And if I just click on settings and go to my storages, there you go. It appears in gaming mode. My NTFS. My NTFS SD card right here, and these are the games that I want to be playing. Uh, I need to tell you some cravats about this because it is not quite so simple, quite honestly, it's not so simple. There is some cravats. Uh, as you can see here in my download queues, you will see that uh, there's some scheduled updates for Bioshock Infinite and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Bioshock Infinite is not so big, it's only tw 21 megabytes, however Shadow of the Tomb Raider is 1.3 gigabytes. And the reason that these are now in my download queue is that both of these games have a native Linux port. And when you were using this SD card on both Windows and Linux, when you launch the, when you launch the Steam OS, it is going to try and convert these games to the native Linux build, which in Bioshock's Infinite's case isn't a lot of data, but Shadow of the Tomb Raider is pretty big, 1.3 gigabytes. And once you update that to the Linux build on the Steam OS and play it, and you know, it'll play fine. If you then boot back into Windows, it will then convert it back to the Windows build, which would be then another 1.3 gigabytes and then unpack to two, three gigabytes. So it's going to be a lot of reading and writing onto your SD card unnecessarily. And that is a problem. That is actually a big problem. So uh, to get around this, you could, in SteamOS, you could force both of those games to use Proton. And that would then keep them as the l Windows builds. Um, I don't like the idea of that. I don't think I've managed to get Shadow of the Tomb Raider working via Proton yet. And the Linux build for Shadow of the Tomb Raider is perfect it runs fantastically compared to the windows version it's about it's about the same as the windows version no going through compatibility layers or anything so uh, what i would suggest is if you are using a shared ntfs card between the two systems you need to identify which games have a native linux build and don't have those on the sd card on your sd card that you're sharing between both systems needs to be the windows only, games that are Windows only, games that only have a Windows build, and when they're running on Steam OS, it will run them through Proton. Any game that has a native Linux build, just keeping your 
your partition for Steam OS. If you're wanting to play it mostly on Linux, just keep it like that. It's it's a waste of time and a waste of uh, your SD card's endurance, quite honestly, to keep re-downloading it every time you switch systems. Uh, thankfully, uh, my Steam OS always queues these up, so it doesn't do it automatically, but it is quite annoying. But anyway, let's just uh, quickly play Back for Blood. I'm going to play Back for Blood now on Steam OS, and then I'll go back into Windows, and I'll play it again on Windows just to show you that it's, everything's still working fine. So this is Back for Blood running on the Steam OS from an NTFS formatted SD card. And as you can see, it is running without any issues. And I will then quickly go back into Windows. And now I am back into Windows and I'll just look at my updates. And uh, even though it didn't download anything on Linux, it is still scheduled to re-update these to the Windows build. But I think if I click them it will realize that it doesn't need to download anything so yes you are going to have to be careful what games you do have on your shared sd card uh, like i say just on your shared sd card make sure that it's all just windows only and then when it's running on steam os it will everything will just run through proton and everything will be fine and if we go back to my library and i just want to go and make sure back for blood is still working in Windows since we've been playing it in, in Steam. And here we are back in the my Windows partition on my Steam Deck, playing from the NTFS SD card. Uh, we have just played the exact same game in, in the Steam OS, and there are no issues at all, or so far at least. I will say that so far that I've not had any issues with this. And so, yeah. There it is, a shared SD card, formatted to NTFS, works in Windows, works in SteamOS. Uh, also, if, let's say, let's say you've not got your Steam Deck yet, I've seen people uh, on Reddit who have already, like, filled up an SD card, an NTFS SD card from their Windows machine in preparation of getting their Steam Deck. They've then put the SD card into their Steam Deck and it's not worked and they've been disappointed that they've needed to re-download everything. I would say just don't worry about it. I'll put the instructions up again, probably, I hope, here. Uh, follow those instructions, uh, mount the SD card just as NTFS. Uh, I have not seen any issues so far using just an NTFS formatted SD card in SteamOS at all, and you know, you could just keep it like that forever if you wished. You can then use that SD card back in your gaming PC. You could then take that SD card to someone's house and then use it in their PCs without installing any drivers on the Windows side. So there we go. That's me, Scorp. I hope that helped you with your journey on your Steam Deck. Uh, I am going to try and figure out why some SD cards and some external hard drives don't have UUIDs because some people have asked me about this. So hopefully that will be my next video. Thank you for watching and catch you next time.